Quick brainstorm here on Florida and Carolina Bay's investigation. Real quick note about um, the leak project. I was looking at his video. I shared to me the declassified timeline of pole shifts and ELEs complete unsanitized Adam and Eve story Chan Thomas. I don't think he's purposely astroturfing. I think he believes a lot of the stuff he says. He doesn't have the science background. So that's where I think he sometimes talks about this stuff. Uh, but when he was saying that he has the unsanitized, um, it's not a conspiracy that the CIA put together a document and left out parts of the book. And I believe that this article here is kind of random here. It has no relation. But there's no analysis. That's kind of when I was saying, like, what does sanitize mean? There's no analysis or anything. But the CIA doesn't just copy a book and then classify it. They would have analysis in here that makes it classified. And so they release the sanitized version with no analysis, if that makes sense. Anyways, so here's the, the, the thing is, um, I was just watching some of Dabbler's Den and Antonio Zamora. Um, they're great resources if you want to get familiar with the Carolina Bays. Jump in there, watch their videos. Um, I think that the Bays went much further than this arc here. And I think that there was probably some Florida impacts as well. And in theory... You might wonder, well, why aren't there the, the traditional bay shapes? And I would assume that to get from this area to Florida, you have to have a lot more force to get there. Um, Antonio Zamora was also commenting on the jet stream and how that might um, change some of the math there. And I wonder how much that could stop, knock down some of the lighter boulders might kind of make sense that they can't fly as far through the jet stream but I, you'd have to have a lot more mass times the same acceleration to like probably go farther like faster um, do you think it's probably like comparable to like throwing a wiffle ball versus like a solid rock um, obviously there's a lot of holes but you get the point it's like a you can only throw a feather so far and I would imagine that the bigger ones would have went to Florida. So when analyzing, you got to be careful. So the, the land is really strange. Uh, Florida doesn't make sense as a state. Uh, it literally belongs under water, as shown by the Mid-Florida Ridge, which is a sand ridge running about 150 miles south to north in central Florida. And it was basically an island of sorts where the ocean used to be all the way up. Florida used to be underwater, basically. And you can see the, you can even see a lot of the holes. So obviously I'm like, anytime there's some kind of strange anomaly, I'm very hesitant to start pointing at things. and like, yep, that's from the Younger Dryas. So this was a suspiciously large pool of water with a shallow depth for its size. Maybe it was limestone, I doubt it, mostly because of how shallow it is. But I mean, there's some pretty good impact um, candidates here. I mean, there are holes everywhere. And yes, obviously it could be just limestone as Dabbler Sin was telling me in a comment, probably. Um, but when you look at this Lake um, Okeechobee, it's the largest freshwater lake in Florida, the ninth largest natural freshwater lake. You know, this might be an interesting thing to check out. So you got your Great Lakes, Great Salt Lakes. I wonder how much these are cataclysm related. Lake of the Woods. Well, probably from melting uh, glaciers, I'd imagine. North and South Dakota. 370,000 acres, my goodness. Okay. 
So when you look at the area, like the Great Lakes are just so huge. Um, there appears to be a significant drop off from a thousand square miles down to 600. How did Alamina form? Um, the lake here, a mythical great black fish that used to inhabit that bites holes. And the Badarkas. What does that word mean? <laughs> Anyways, comment if you know what that's about. But here we have Loka Okeechobee in Florida. Here we got one in Louisiana. All right, I'll dig more into those. Maybe I'll make another video if anything comes out of it. I also looked up this Lake Iso Istokpoga. Um, big freshwater freshwater lake maximum depth of 10 feet once again it's just like this very strange shallow big big lake in Florida and this one is um, directly above Okeechobee and I was just kind of playing around to see the the orientation kind of the whole sort of line up to the very bottom of Lake Michigan, but it doesn't line up to like Saginaw Bay well or um, So maybe it was more of an airburst ice chunk that got shot there and I think Saginaw Bay is clearly where there was some kind of hard material that that blasted into the ice cap somehow Um, let me, which here's Rubio being weird. My home state of Florida is once again experiencing an environmental and economic catastrophe, a real crisis. It's a crisis that, whose cause extends back decades, a decade. Like, why is he begging for federal money? Like, dude, it's your state. Fix it yourself. <laughs> oh, you don't want algae. Maybe everyone should stop dumping fertilizer on their lawn if you don't want your lake to go bad. Common sense. Very classic case of the tragedy of the commons there. Um, Alright, so let's let's pull up this ArcGIS map. Um, maybe first you can look at the elevation map here. Um, everything in green is below 50 feet. Um, people in Florida are quite literally swamp people. With the exception of the highlands kind of island here. That sticks out and has a very clear water line. Water line of sorts. Anyways, okay. So now that you have that lovely visual. I mean, get on here yourself. Let me know what you think. I mean, obviously if rivers are running through somewhere, it's more than likely that there would be limestone getting worn away. Kind of makes sense. But the size of this lake, Okeechobee, is just incredible. And, <clears throat> like, look at all these little tiny holes. I mean, I would chalk it up to being Florida, but hey, maybe something else is going on here. Who knows? Um, I'd be curious if any of you have any idea. But when I look above Lake Okeechobee, I don't know. Suspicious looking land. Maybe that's just how they did the farmland, cutting through forests. Probably. Why are all these tracks here? Like four wheelers or something? I mean, it appears to be farmland. Anyways, um. Just look around. Let me know if you think it's possible. These are Carolina Bays. I mean, Florida is just a mess. Anyways, the reason why I bring it up is because it's significant if there is some kind of tsunami going on. And I know I just made my video where I, I was showing that the orientation of this big impact looking thing points directly to here, like in between all those things. 
all the Great Lakes. I don't know. Let me know what you think. Just a quick brainstorm. Um, could use some help. Kind of a dead end for me. I, don't, I haven't really been spending much time on the Carolina Bays. But, um, I mean, my main theory of mine is that there was the airburst over here, or very close to the water explosion. Um, some guy that was talking about physics was like, yeah, I don't know if an airburst is quite what you're looking for. But just enough that, you know, how does a... Like, if you were to belly flop in the water, that would hurt pretty bad. So, imagine a giant rock smashing into the ocean. There's a lot of uh, resistance that's going to be met when you smack into water. I mean, to reach the bottom of the... To hit the ocean floor would require so much force... It'd have to leave a mark, so I don't know where the mark is. Maybe this stuff just isn't mapped out properly. Some sections seem to be on the fault line, seem to be mapped out well. And cracks, but... I don't know. There should be some particles that you could drill and test. It should be quite apparent as well. Either way, water went flying over mid-America. And I would imagine they built the Panama Canal through the easiest route. And I, and I haven't... Um, the water depth here doesn't make sense, but I was looking at the Haiti area, like you kind of got a circular thing with an island in the middle. I don't know. Probably not Atlantis, but I still like the Bahamas the most. Because the Dominican Republic and Haiti kind of add up to the right size. Except it's above water right now, so it, it wouldn't sink. Although if there was a giant wave, it would have trashed. So there's a lot of tectonics in here, but I don't know, big wave over here, big wave through here. I don't even know how much of this was, I don't know what I'm saying at this point, but there's a lot of strange stuff going on in this, this, this area here, and we have only just begun to scratch the surface, I think. So, all right, I'm going to cut it off here. I don't think I have anything pressing. I've been watching a lot of those um, Cooper videos lately, and I want to watch more Michael on the Unslayed podcast. I'm trying to catch up with his material. Um, a lot of mysteries of history to un unravel here, and, you know, we all need to do our part to find a little spot no one else is talking about and you know clip together some summary videos and send them to me you know i i'm interested to learn anything um i will say that like i'm not really into the alien stuff um but anything else please send my way and not pole shift stuff either cool all right